Okay, I actually missed something above the cable TV. There is a, between car payment and cable TV, there's supposed to be a line that says car insurance. So let's just go ahead and insert. Because I have a row highlighted, it's assuming I want to insert a row, as well it should. And now again, we're going to move this horizontally because I'm going to read from the table here that's off screen from you. And actually, no, I'm not. This is one of the rows that are one single value all the way across. How convenient. Okay, next come formulas. Now, we're going to make use of relative and fixed indexing references. Uh, first, our total expenses need to be this column from here to here. So we're going to type equals sum, beginning parenthesis, and then just highlight the column and hit enter, and it completes it for us. We click here, and then we see what it actually is. This is the formula for this row. Now watch, when I highlight this, and I copy, and I paste, now the B's have become C's. If I paste it again and again, here, B5, B16, here, E5, E16. I've been column E. These are being relative. What it means that is that the uh, the references, the first cell and the second cell, what it means is from this cell I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then I go up 1 and I grab everything between this cell minus 12 and this cell minus 1 and I add them all up. And that's what this means. So when I go over here, this one is also going to grab the cell, the values from cell minus 12 to minus 1 and add them up. If I highlight all of these and paste and paste, I have the exact same thing. As long as I take that, that formula that I started out with and move it around, wherever I move it, it will do the same thing. Um, down on the bottom, we have a function called min. We're supposed to take the minimum of this, hit enter, and we're supposed to take the max of this, and this is supposed to be the equals average of this, and we're going to just copy, paste, 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 copy, paste, paste, and we just did an enormous amount of work very quickly. And the same will go for the horizontal rows, where we need to add all of them up and put them over here. So here we're going to do equals sum, and then I'm going to do this just one time, hit enter, it completes it for me the, with the last parenthesis, and I then, and I kind of hate that control. That, does anybody else use that? Does everybody, anybody else even know what that's for? And how to get rid of it? It bugs the crap out of me. So this goes right here. There we go. Um, now, the part where we need to use absolute indexing is we need to come up with a number derived from this. Oh, actually. Can just take this and put it here as well. There we go. Um, this number is supposed to be a percentage of this relative to this. Um, so we're going to take this. We're going to say equals the little number divided by the big number.
curious. It's supposed to say 6%. Weird. Uh, okay, so we have this. Now, you'll notice this says N5 divided by N3. N5 divided by N3. Remember how relative indexing works. What this is really saying is take the number that is 1, 2, minus 2, minus 1, and divide that into the number that is minus 1, minus 0. So take this number, divide it here. So if I take this and I try to paste it here it's not going to work because it's going to try to take 1, 2, minus 1. It's going to take this number, which is no number, so it's 0, and divide that into this. So it's going to give us an error, yeah, as well it should. So what we're going to do is change this reference, the N123 reference, and we're going to put dollar signs in front of both of the elements, the column and the row elements of that formula. It now rounded for us. And we're now if we take that number and we paste it, now it works properly. Outstanding. And then this one here is actually one of these. And now we need to format them. So just highlight this row, and let's see where the... Probably going to need to format cells. Does it have it here? Percentage. Yes, it does. Great. Now in the rubric, it is showing no decimal point. It looks like it wants us to round. I didn't see a round here. So we're going to format the cells and zero decimal places. And there we go. And then of course this needs to be in dollars. Now for whatever reason, the amounts the monthly paid out amounts are not in dollars, but the income and the totals are in dollars. So we'll just go ahead and follow the rubric. That is what the grade is based on. And oh, let's make these dollars as well. Lots of numbers. Now remember what is really happening. We're using Excel to display numbers in a meaningful way. Now just real quick, let's go ahead and give these... Well, actually I'm going to do the formatting later. You've seen how to do all of the basics here in Microsoft Office. Now we're going to do them in LibreOffice when we come back.